Ford's communications and media relations strategy regarding Boobzilla was truly remarkable for all the wrong reasons. Much to their chagrin, the story did not peter out after the 24-hour news cycle ran its course. Instead, the Busty Lemieux saga got bigger and bigger as the board got increasingly inept. And darn it, those pesky parents, you know, the taxpayers who fund the HDSB, well, they wouldn't shut up with all their impolite questions, all of which put the board into an unnecessary panic. Unnecessary because all the board had to do was, you know, act like adults driven by common sense. All they had to do was start an investigation regarding Lemieux, or at the very least enforce a dress code. But alas, they didn't want to come across as transphobic, even though the trans community was not supporting Lemieux. Yes, even this community knew something was fishier than month-old tuna. Still, check out this memo entitled, Speaking Notes Re OTHS, that stands for Oakville Trafalgar High School, from Heather Francie to Trustees External on September 16th, 2022. Quote, hello, we've prepared speaking notes to support you in conversations you may have with your school communities regarding OTHS. The following speaking notes have been prepared to support you with conversations you may have with students, staff, parents, guardians, and community members regarding Oakville Trafalgar High School speaking notes, end quote. And what were those speaking notes, you ask? Fasten your seatbelts, folks. Here we go. Quote, the Halton District School Board is committed to establishing and maintaining a safe, caring, inclusive, equitable, and welcoming learning and working environment for all students and staff. We strive to promote a positive learning environment in schools consistent with the values of the school board and to ensure a safe and inclusive learning and working environment for all students, staff, and the community, regardless of their race, age, ability, sex, gender identity, gender expression, sexual orientation, ethnicity, religion, cultural observance, socioeconomic circumstances, or body type size. The HDSB recognizes the rights of students, staff, parents, guardians, and community members to equitable treatment without discrimination based upon gender identity and gender expression. Gender identity and gender expression are protected grounds under the Ontario Human Rights Code. The HDSB's hiring processes are fair, consistent, and transparent and promote a qualified and diverse workforce. The HDSB believes all staff, in addition to students, parents, guardians, and community members, have the right to express themselves in a manner consistent with their gender expression. We are respectful of the privacy of all our staff as always, our highest priority is the safety and well-being of our students and staff. As this is a personal matter, we cannot provide further information, end quote. Wow, that heap and helping of word salad was the stand pat, do rigueur answer for every query uttered by a parent or journalist regarding Lemieux. Even if parents or reporters had specific questions about Lemieux's clothing or those fake boobs or why he continued to violate workshop etiquette rules, that gender rubbish was regurgitated dozens and dozens and dozens of times over as our FOI documents reveal. It was as if the HDSB was an automated service as opposed to an organization staffed by sentient human beings. Indeed, in the early going, I sent out a very detailed email about Lemieux. It had seven specific questions about Lemieux and school board policy and dress codes. 
And all I got back was blah, 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 gender identity, blah, 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 sexual orientation, blah, 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 gender expression, blah, 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 blah. Not a single query was answered. What's more, it made me wonder if Heather Francie is an admirer of Greta Thunberg. Or blah, 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 build back better, blah, 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 green economy, blah, 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 net zero by 2050, blah, blah, blah. Yet, even though the HDSB educrats desperately wished that the Busty Lemieux story would simply fade away, alas and alack, they kept being bombarded by pesky questioners. Check out this email on September 19th entitled Subject. Generic response for OTHS parents. By the way, did you notice the admission that their woke mumbo jumbo statement is a generic response? It comes from Superintendent Jacqueline Newton and sent to Francie and Scott Poderabaric and Hawa Jayam Abo. It reads, quote, Hello, Heather and Scott. We need help with how to respond to parents who are individually emailing Meredith and me, addressing things, allowing this type of dress as a teacher, etc. End quote. Yeah, so in other words, the media and parents weren't buying that endlessly repeated woke generic gender garbage statement. And what was the solution? Well, the solution was to <laughs> simply stop responding altogether. Indeed, look what happened at the September HDSB public meeting. Look at the agenda, and it was so telling, isn't it? Even though the Busty Lemieux story was receiving worldwide media attention, and even though the HDSB and Oakville Trafalgar were being flooded with phone calls on a daily basis, the Lemieux issue wasn't even on the agenda. In fact, parents were told that they were not even permitted to ask questions verbally. Rather, questions would have to be provided in writing in advance and that the staff would cherry pick which questions they would present. And of course, no questions regarding Lemieux would be entertained because, well, just because, okay? Clearly, those who work at the HDSB are not educators. They are a bunch of censorious thugs. Here's some more proof in that putrid pudding. Another internal email from Francie to various staffers, quote, Hello, staff are asked to be aware of reporters from the media attending some schools and board sites this week to inquire about the situation at Oakville Trafalgar High School that has received significant attention over the past several days. Staff are asked to direct all media requests to the Communications and Engagement Department. Please share this message with others as required." End quote. Yeah, we wouldn't want the unvarnished truth getting out there, would we now? Better to control and censor the narrative. That was an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. I'm Ezra Levant. Every weekday, I do a monologue about the topic of the day. Then I interview a fascinating guest, either in studio or via Skype. And then I read your mail, whether it's fan mail or hate mail, which is sometimes even more interesting. This is on our premium service, though, called Rebel News Plus. Go to rebelnewsplus.com. It's eight bucks a month or less if you buy a whole year in advance. You get my show every weeknight, plus Sheila Gunn Reed's show every week. It's called The Gun Show. It's pretty amazing. You know, we rely on you because we do not take a dime from the government. In Canada, that makes us almost unique. So please help us out and help yourself to some great journalism at rebelnewsplus.com.